chemical machining. Ow! Is the controlled dissolution of workpiece material by means of a strong chemical reagent. Material is removed from selected areas by immersing it in a chemical solution. Chemical machining was first used around 400 BC, with organic chemicals such as lactic and citric acids being used as etchants. By the 1st century AD, common practice had changed to using alkaline etchants. By the 15th century, strong mineral acids were used instead. The technique was also used to etch engravings into knight's armour. Hey, check me out. I wish I had armor that cool. In wartime, it was used to etch trajectory information for cannon operators. Since paper was likely to be destroyed in combat, the information was etched into weapons such as stilettos. Things nowadays are slightly different. There are five steps to the modernized process. Workpiece preparation, coating, scribing, etching, and demasking. The workpiece must be cleaned before the machining process can begin. This can be done either through mechanical or chemical methods. An ultrasound cleaning machine can also be used, and applying heat whilst cleaning aids the process. The masking material must first be applied to the entire surface of the metal. Liquid maskings may be applied via dip masking, in which the part is dipped into an open tank. Conductive maskings may also be applied by electrostatic deposition. The best masking to use is determined primarily by the chemical used to etch the material and the material itself. The maskant must adhere to the surface of the material and must also be chemically inert. Scribing is the removal of maskant on the areas to be etched. For decorative applications, this can be done by hand with a scribing knife. For large-scale applications, computer numerical control may be used to automate the process. Etching is the immersion of the part into a chemical bath. The time spent immersed in the bath determines the depth of the resulting etch calculated by the formula E equals S over T. Here are the etch rates for magnesium and aluminium. Demasking is the process of removing etchant and masking. Etchant is removed with water, masking with scraping tools. There are three main types of chemical machining processes. The first process in photochemical machining is to prepare the workpiece. This is done by chemically cleaning it to enable the photoresist, a light sensitive material used to form a pattern on the material surface. The next step is to create the photo tool. This is created using a CAD file. The sheet is exposed to UV light so the areas of, of the photo tool which block the light will not harden. This causes an image to form in the photoresist. The unhardened areas are then removed using a high pressure alkaline solution. Photoresist remains on areas protected from the etchant. There are many advantages to chemical machining. It's cheap as there are no blanking dyes. The process is quick to do. Flexible as complex designs are possible. There's no tool wear. A range of metals can be used. And no change in material properties. No birds. <laughs> <laughs>